The Global Wrestling Network has arrived. I want to know your thoughts. This is BQ, and I do this for the Impact Wrestling fans. Well, how about instead of focusing on those yahoos, you focus yourself on Eli Drake? First of all, I got to say, something that made my channel really popular at first was my ability to break news, because I worked at night, I was at home during the day, and now I work during the day, and I knew that the Global Wrestling Network was coming out within minutes, and I was so upset because if I was at home, I could have uploaded something on the channel immediately got some pretty insane traffic so I was pretty upset about that so um, I'm going to give you my quick thoughts on the network uh, please hit subscribe folks I'm on my way to 2,000 subscribers so please hit subscribe if it's your first time here on the channel we're talking impact wrestling just about each and every day I've taken a little bit of a break lately and I'm a little bit under the weather right now you might be able to hear it in my voice I was actually in the hospital today um, I mean not I wasn't admitted into the hospital but I uh, had to go to the ER and uh, I'm feeling a little bit better, but I'm definitely very under the weather, um, dealing with some chest pains and everything. But I'm here talking to you guys regardless. My early returns on the network, I think it's very clean, very professional looking. I like that they actually honored the 30-day trial because once upon a time when I got the WWE Network, they charged me from day one, even though they said they had a free week trial. Contacted support and they said, oh, sorry, we'll take it off the end. Basically saying if I were to cancel the network one day that I would get a free week. And I thought to myself, what if I never cancel it? I did eventually cancel it. Um, you know, early on when I had that network, I really liked it for the older content and some of the original content. But then it became, you know, a lot of total divas, a lot of focus on the current stuff, which I don't really like anymore. So I think uh, the potential is there. Apparently they're going to do the um, try to do like reality shows and and things like that on there. And. You know, you, you see that you can watch some matches from, from uh, Smash Wrestling, Border City Wrestling. So I can see where they're going to easily integrate AAA, Noah, The Crash, and any other, you know, company they partner with. Even if they were to do 10,000 subscriptions this first month, you know, that's going to be a gross of 80,000 a month. Um, if that's my, uh, if my math is right there. <laughs> um, and, and that's still a, a huge increase and well we don't know what the costs are and everything so you know that that's just the uh, the gross amount but that's still a big increase i'm sure from you know on top of what they already bring in monthly and uh it can only go up from there i think i think the key numbers when when they can get it up to about a hundred thousand a month and we're probably not going to do that in the united states alone you know may, maybe half that i think even though hypothetically you know there's more people um available that you would think would get it, but I'm going to say, Hey, 50,000. And then, uh, if they can, um, eclipse that, uh, 100,000 mark, and you know, that's going to be about 800,000 a month, I think. So I haven't really done the math. <laughs> Some of you may correct me here. I don't, I don't know. Again, I'm under the weather folks. I'm not thinking too well, but I want to know, I really want to read in the description guys, what you guys are thinking and what your early returns are. The only couple negatives I had was that to look up pay-per-views, um, it wasn't very easily, uh, it wasn't very easy for me to find it. I had to go to the search type in slam anniversary and then it came up. But if you just click watch impact wrestling, there's no, at least I didn't see anything, um, regarding the pay-per-views. I don't know how the monthly pay-per-views and one night onlys are going to work. I heard that they're going to be at a discounted price. That may have just been something someone pulled out of their ass. Like if you have the network, you can purchase the pay-per-view for super cheap. But if you don't have it, it's regular price. I don't know how true that is. Again, it might be something that someone just made up. And uh, I couldn't find it on Android. So I had to go to the website, click the Android link, and then download it. But then I couldn't register on my Android. It was uh, had some bugs saying it needed my username, which there was no spot for a username. So uh, when I went to the website itself, I was able to register fairly easily. And, uh, you know, so far it's uh, it's looking good. I think it's uh, the potential's there. It really is. And it's funny, there's haters out there. And, and the, uh, the internet community, not the internet community, but the dirt sheets will, if the returns are low, you know, the subscriptions early on, they'll, they will definitely let us know. But if uh, they're doing well, of course, we'll hear nothing. But, you know, we don't know if that's going to be public knowledge or not. But uh, I really want to know in the comments, what do you guys think? So far, those of you who um, have the network, who have downloaded it, have you watched it yet? What have you watched? I'm really happy that Explosion is on there. And uh, 
I'm jazzed for this, folks. I'm really jazzed for this. So let me know in the comments. Uh, please hit subscribe. Peace.